Welcome to Couch to 7.0. My name is Justin, and this is a level one total body workout. All you're gonna need for this workout is a light pair of dumbbells. If you don't have dumbbells at home, do not panic. We can still use soup cans, water bottles, or even our body weight. Before we get started, let's make sure that you have checked and entered those blood glucose levels into the Glucosone app, and we're within those safe ranges. Let's get ready to lower that A1C and have an amazing workout. Welcome to Total Body Level 1 in the Couch to 7.0 series. I'm so excited that you're here to join me for this workout. Without further ado, let's jump right on into it. I want you to start with a nice, simple side to side. All we are gonna do is gonna, we are going to work on getting that body, that heart rate, everything from head to toe for this total body workout. We're working on getting that warmed up. I want you to focus on improving your diabetes, improving that mindset, and really getting in the glucose zone here. We're in this total body workout. We're gonna focus through a, cir a circuits of upper body, some lower body exercises. And we're really gonna hit everything from top to bottom. Let's keep that side to side rocking and rolling for the next 10 seconds. And then we're gonna jump into some rows, okay? So I will explain to you what that means. Let's stop that side to side in three, two, and one. Okay, we're gonna come to center here. We're gonna have a slight bend in those knees. Nothing over the top, just a small bend. And I want you to row to your chest and come right back. So when you bring those arms into your chest, you are flexing those back muscles. You can do all of these workouts in a chair, from a couch, or standing, okay? So if you're in a chair, I want you to go ahead and try to get your elbows to the back of that chair for the next 10 seconds of these rows. Great work, let's keep it up for five, four, three, two, and rest. Awesome job, let's go back to that side to side. This is gonna be our active recovery today throughout the entire Couch to 7.0 series. When we're taking breaks in between specific exercises, we're gonna go into 20 seconds of side to side. <clears throat> let's come back to center here. Next exercise we're gonna jump right into, warm up some of those deltoids, okay? I want you to focus on, we're gonna have both hands up and we're gonna drive our right hand towards the ceiling for a single arm shoulder press. Starting in five, four, three, two, one. Here we go, so straight up and back down. Up and down, good, up and down. So we're gonna do this for 30 seconds. After that 30 seconds is completed, we're gonna stop for just a brief second and go right into that left shoulder. You are doing an amazing job. We only have 10 more seconds to go. Time truly flies when we are having fun. Let's go for five, four, three, two, and rest. We're gonna take a 10 seconds of rest here and then we're going to quickly jump into that left shoulder press. Nice, easy warm up here, starting in three, two, and press. Down, good, press, down, up, and down. Good job, up, down, let's go, up. Come on, let's have fun with it. Up, and down, good, stay with me. Good, up, and down, up, and down. If you're in a chair, in a couch, or standing up, you are taking the fight and really improving and taking the strides to improve your diabetes. Three, two, and one. Great job, we're gonna go right back into that side to side and without further ado, it is time for this total body level one couch to 7.0 workout. If you're doing this workout for the first time or you're you are repeating it throughout the series. Let's stay motivated, let's stay fit, and don't forget our main objective. We wanna lower that A1C and get right. Let's start with our first exercise of the day. I want you to go ahead and put your left foot out front, your hands are up by your face, and we're simply gonna go into left jabs, okay? We're gonna start with those jabs in three, two, one, here we go, jab. Jab. I want you to throw those punches, those real, real punches. Come on, turn those hips 
every time and stay motivated. I don't want you to lose focus here. These jabs are an amazing total body workout that requires us to pivot our hips, keep our core tight, and always, always use that upper body to get the most pack in our punch. We have 10 more seconds. Let's do it. Here we go. In five, four, three, two, one. Great job. Let's go ahead and stop and switch on over to the other side. Okay, so I want you to have your right foot out front. We're gonna go into right jabs now. Big smiles on that face, let's go. Starting in five, four, three, two. Hands are up and jab, jab, good, jab, jab. Come on, real punches, don't hold back, you got it. Like I said before, you can do these anywhere, anywhere at all. You can be seated on the couch, in the gym, at home, let's go. Big smiles, big motivation. Come on, punch, punch, good. Great work. Come on, we got 15 seconds. That's gonna fly by, already at 10. Nine, come on. Keep breathing, don't forget to exhale with those jabs in three, two, and rest. Wow, great job. Throughout this active recovery, we're really gonna go ahead and we're appropriately warm up this upper body. We're gonna start with upper body, doing some boxing, doing some cardio, and then we're gonna finish with some lower intensity, lower body exercises to cap off this total body workout. I want you to go ahead and put your left foot out front now. We're gonna go into left hooks, okay? Nice and easy, I want you to turn those hips Feet are a little bit more than shoulder width apart. There is a slight bend in those knees and we are gonna start in three, two, one, and hook, hook, good, hook. Come on, I want you to always, always, always believe in yourself. We are here together, okay? We are not alone, you are never, ever alone in this series, continuously working together. I want you to exhale. Hook, hook, you're doing an amazing job. Come on, we got 15 seconds, let's go. Hook, 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 good, 10, come on. Nine, eight, let's go. Hook, 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 in three, two, rest. Wow, great job. Don't go too far, we're gonna go right back. I want you to put that right foot out front. We're gonna keep it up, we're gonna move, we're gonna have fun. We can do it, let's go. In three, two, one. And now right hooks, hook, hook. Throw those real punches, okay? If you're doing this from that chair-based position, I want you to focus on keeping that core engaged and always throwing those punches as hard and as real as you can while exhaling every time. So don't lose track of that breath, come on. You have just about 12 seconds remaining. Let's do it, 10. Good. I want you to keep it up. We're doing an excellent job here. Come on, three, two, and one. Amazing, amazing job. Let's go right back to that side to side. We're really becoming, we're, we're going into natural Mike Tyson's here. We are putting that work in. We are throwing those punches, keeping that core engaged, and really working that upper body with this cardio. I want you to go ahead and put those feet out. We're now gonna go into left uppercut. So there's a slight bend in our knees again. I want you to pivot and throw those hooks straight up. So we're gonna go uppercut, uppercut. Stay with me, uppercut, uppercut, come on. Strong punches, whether you're doing this from a chair, a couch, or you're right here standing with me, I want you to focus up, up, good. Yeah, opposite hand is up to protect that face. Excellent job, keep it up, let's go. Up, up, good, up. We have 10 more seconds, let's do it. Up, 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 good, up, in three. Two, and rest. Wow, great job. The left uppercut is in the books. Brush that off to the side. We're gonna go into a right uppercut now. 
That right foot is out front. Those feet are shoulder width apart. We are in this fight together. You and me taking the fight to diabetes. Hands are up. Here we go in three, two, one. So I want up, up, good, up. Turning those hips every time. Let's go up, up, good, up. Now we're doing these exercises one at a time. So we did our jabs at a time, our hooks at one time. And now we're focusing on those uppercuts for a very specific reason. We're gonna put them all together for a nice three punch combo starting in about 20 seconds. Let's go. We are in this together. Come on, keep fighting. We have 10 more seconds. And up, up, good, five, four, three, two, and knock out uppercut. Wow, great, great job. Let's keep going, let's stay motivated. Remember, we are in this together. This is a couch to 7.0. We are getting you up, getting you motivated, and staying in the zone mentally and physically. You got this. What did I just say? We're gonna put all of this together now. You can do it. So I want you to put your left foot out front. Your hands are up. Slight bend in those knees and we're going to knock out diabetes with this next three punch combo. So we're gonna put all of that together. So I want you to throw a left jab, a left hook, and then a left uppercut. Follow along with me for a couple of times until you get the hang of it or jump right on into it. We're gonna start in 10 seconds. So one more time, that combo is a jab, a hook, and then an uppercut. We're just gonna repeat it. Three, two, here we go. So jab, hook, up, jab, hook, up, jab. Great job. Keep it up, let's go. Hook, up, and jab. Hook, uppercut, real punches every time. Don't sell yourself short, amazing job. Keep turning those hips, come on. Up and jab, hook, up, jab, hook, up for the last 10. Hook, up and jab, hook, up, final one, jab, hook and up. Way to go, knock out punch, knock out diabetes. However you want to phrase it, we're bettering ourselves. We're here right now in the glucose zone, taking the fight, getting you off the couch. Whether you're doing this for the first time or the third time or the hundredth time, I'm so, so proud of you right there. You can do it. Hands are going up. We're going back to the opposite side with a jab, a hook, and an uppercut in three, two, Let's do it. So jab, hook, up, jab, hook, up. Good, jab, hook, up. Real punches every time. Excellent job. Let's take the fight together. Come on, up, jab, hook, up. This is a total body level one workout. This is no joke. You are in the right place. If you're looking to break a sweat and have fun, let's keep going. We got 10, jab. Hook up in five, four, last combo, three, two, and knock out, punch. Let's go. Keep it up. Let's keep that motivation. Big smiles. We only have a couple of exercises left, and then we are done. Let's do this. Let's go together. We're going to continue with that core and that upper body for just one more exercise, and then we're going to jump right into that lower body. We're gonna start in five seconds. Those feet are shoulder width apart, hands are up. We're going into a standing Russian twist, pivoting to one side, pausing in the middle, pivoting to the opposite, pausing in the middle again. Come on with me now. Pivot, pause. I want you to feel that pull in those obliques. Excellent job. Pivot, pause, and come right back. We're already halfway there. Let's go, let's go, let's go. 15 seconds. Pivot. Pause. Pivot. Feel that pull. Tighten that core. Suck in that stomach. Tighten up those abdominals. We have five, four, three, 
two, and rest. All right, we're gonna go right back to that side to side, and we're gonna start with some lower body now. It is that time, it is time, it is total body time. We're hitting everything from head to toe. You can do it. We're gonna go into a simple march in place in five seconds here, nice and easy. Three, two, march, march. March. I want you to drive those knees up to where you feel comfortable, to your range of motion, and most importantly, listen to your body, okay? If this is too challenging to you or you're in a chair-based position, I just want you to simply just drive your knees up to where you feel comfortable, bring them right back down. Some of these exercises specifically have helped me stay motivated because in the heat of the moment, I'm having fun. I know that I can challenge my body appropriately by doing some simple exercises that'll make me break a sweat, feel good, and ultimately free up any excess sugar that I have in those muscles. We're gonna stop in five, four, three, two, and one. Great job. The next exercise that we're gonna jump right into is going to be calf raises. Like I said before, whether or not this is your first time doing total body level one in Couch of 7.0, or your third time, calf raises are an amazing exercise that really help us free up some of the larger muscle groups in our body, which directly correlate with lower blood sugars and lower A1C. We're gonna have those feet shoulder width apart. You're going up on those tippy toes in three, two, let's go. Amazing job. I want you to keep that up. I want big smiles. Nothing but good vibes, positive energy in here. Coming up on those tippy toes. Keep breathing. Stay focused. You can do it. We are in this together. You're my motivation. I am yours. Don't give up on me. We have a couple exercises remaining. You got 10 seconds. Let's do it. Excellent work. Keep it up. Five, four, Three, two, and one. Great job. We're gonna go into some heel taps now, followed by a reverse lunge, okay? I know you can do this. We're touching up, we're polishing off on this total body workout. We have just a couple minutes left together, so let's take advantage of it. In three seconds, I want those feet shoulder width apart. We're going into heel taps, right into it. Tap and back, tap and back okay always engage that core keep that core tight drive those heels out simply tap them on the ground and bring it right back so with a total body workout in the glucose zone our main objective is to essentially keep those blood sugar levels stable or finish off with some lower body to drop those numbers we're going to keep the heart rate relatively low and finish strong I wanna make sure that you have checked and entered those blood sugar levels into the Glucozone app at the very beginning, and the very end of this workout. Keep breathing, we have seven, six, come on, five, four, three, two, and one. We're gonna go right back to that side to side. With a total body workout, I like to start with the upper body to increase that heart rate a little bit and potentially see that blood sugar rise up, but then finish with the lower body where we have some of the largest muscle groups in our body to ultimately cap off that blood sugar or even see a nice drop. We're gonna go right back into that reverse lunge starting in three seconds. Those feet are shoulder width apart. You're just gonna step back and come right back to center back and back to center. If this is too easy for you, you can go ahead and sink a little bit lower into that lunge. If you're in a chair or in the couch, I just want you to go ahead and step out to the side with your feet, step out to the side with your other foot, and then bring it right back to center. Excellent job. Let's do this together, come on. We only have two exercises to go. This went by so, so fast. And if you can do this, you can virtually do anything. I don't want you to lose that motivation. Don't quit on me now. You can do it. We're gonna go back and back for five, four, three, two, and wow. Great job. We're gonna go right into that side to side again. 
starting in just about 10 seconds, I want you to go into a quarter squat. So we're not going all the way down, okay? Our feet are gonna be just about shoulder width apart, and we're just simply coming down a little bit to where we feel that engagement in our quads. We're going right back to that resting position, okay? Starting in five, four, three, two, and down and up, good. And like I said, we are not going into a full squat just yet. This is a level one. We wanna get warmed up. We wanna get right into it. Okay, but we're not going into that full squat. You can do this. Big smiles. Come on now, stay with me. Good job. It is so important, whether we're working our upper or whether we're working our lower body, to continuously be building muscle. And that is our main goal, as well as lowering those blood sugars with couch to 7.0. The bigger that our muscles are, the more storage that we have for any excess sugar throughout our body. So we wanna keep chiseling away and keep working at those muscles. Three, two, and rest. Great job, I don't want you to think I forgot about you there. I, I'm, I'm here, I'm with you, we're doing this together, come on. We have one, that's right, I said it, just one exercise remaining we're gonna keep we're gonna get the two for one special that compound exercise like I mentioned earlier in this couch 7.0 series compound exercises if you don't know are exercises that work more than one muscle group okay so starting in 10 seconds we're gonna finish with one of my favorite compound exercises some knee raises okay starting in three two one, I want you to drive that knee up and back down. So not only are we working those hip flexors, but we're also keeping that core engaged the entire time. Tightening up those abdominals, working on those legs. This is a total body. Right now we're hitting a muscle group in the top and in the bottom. You can't make this stuff up. This is good quality exercise. Let's go. Great job. If you find yourself heavily breathing throughout this exercise or these workouts, you may notice your blood sugar might start to go up due to the fact that your heart rate is increasing. When our heart rate increases, our body releases counter-regulatory hormones, which cause our numbers to slightly go up. After the workout is done and that exercise has came right back down and that heart rate is followed, you should see the number just come down with it. We got three two and wow great job speaking of heart rate and speaking of lowering that heart rate and coming back to a resting state let's go for a couple of side to sides here to cool ourselves down you did an absolutely amazing job with that workout i am so proud of you and happy that you join me for this total body level one couch to 7.0 workout. We're gonna wrap up here with a couple of deep breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth. Here we go. Again. We got two more. Last one here. Great. Job. Let's think of one thing that we are grateful for before we sign off with this workout. I am grateful for you joining me today, wherever you are, whatever time it may be, and putting in that work. I cannot wait to see you for the next workout and couch to 7.0.